A Formula One driver named Nicky drives a lady named Marlene and two of his fans as he heads to a train station. On the way, his fans seem pretty excited, but Marlene doesn't believe that Nicky is a real Formula One driver because of how slow he's driving. Due to this, he decides to prove her wrong by driving fast, but a moving truck suddenly appears in front of them. A few months earlier, a Formula 3 driver named James arrives at a hospital for a checkup after being involved in a fight on track. As he gets there, he meets a nurse named Gemma, who seems really attracted to him, especially as he talks about his love for racing. He eventually takes her home, and the next day, she follows him to work. When they get here, he introduces her to his team manager, Bubbles, and the team owner, Lord Hesketh. As Gemma then looks at James's car, she sees him throwing up nearby. She looks worried about him, but Hesketh says it's a good sign that James is ready. Shortly after, James gets into his car and sees Nicky also about to enter his car. As he asks who Nicky is, Bubbles says he's a new guy from Austria who has been walking around the track since he arrived. He also mentions that James will have to take his race seriously because Nicky looks like he knows what he's doing. After a while, the race starts, and Nicky challenges James really well. James can't seem to believe this, and as they both drive wheel to wheel, their cars hit each other. They both spin on the track, and while James's car still seems okay, Nicky's race ends after his car develops a major fault. He's not happy about this, and after James wins the race and celebrates with his team, Nicky blames him for the crash. However, James jokes about it and tells Nicky that he had to do everything he could to win. Nicky still looks displeased, but James and his team walk away. The next day, Nicky arrives at his family house in Vienna to ask for his father's help in fulfilling his dream of becoming a Formula One driver. His dad is not happy about this because he wants Nicky to continue the family's tradition of bringing up businessmen. As his dad refuses to help, Nicky leaves and goes to take a bank loan so he can fund a Formula One team named BRM, whose owner is about to go bankrupt. During an event where James gets an award for being an outstanding driver, Hesketh mentions that he'll soon have to find a car for him in Formula One. As they're talking, Bubbles then mentions that Nicky already has a car, and this leaves James shocked. However, Bubbles mentions that Nicky had to buy his way into BRM. The next day, Nicky goes for preseason testing and meets with the team owner, Stanley, who introduces him to the team's number one driver, Clay. As Nicky also meets his mechanics, he looks at his car and starts asking questions about the speed and engine. After a while, he mentions that he wants the car to go faster. The mechanics don't think there's anything they can do, but Nicky gives them an idea and starts working with them to achieve his goal. The next day, during the tests, Nicky watches Clay's session and tells Stanley that his car can go faster. Stanley doesn't get this, but Nicky mentions that if he puts Clay in his car, he'll go a few seconds faster. Even though Clay doesn't look too happy about it, Stanley tells him to try Nicky's car. As he then completes a session in Nicky's car, Stanley looks shocked to see that he went faster. After the testing, Stanley asks Nicky what he did to his car and he says he'll only tell him if he gets a guaranteed place on the team with new terms that place him on an equal salary as Clay. Stanley doesn't like this, but as Nicky boasts about how fast his car is, the team owner realizes that he has no other choice. The next day, Hesketh surprises James by informing him that he'll be driving in Formula One for the season. James is very happy about this, but Hesketh mentions that they still have a lot to work towards because they don't have any sponsors yet. As James then asks when he can start, Hesketh says it depends on when he's ready. Days later, the Formula One season begins, and all the drivers start their practice sessions. Unfortunately, one of the drivers crashes and dies after a few races. While James says the next race has to be cancelled, Nicky hears this and says there's no reason for it, because the driver was at fault for the crash. James can't believe his ears, but Nicky tells him that it's pretty obvious from the marks on the crash car tires. James then tries to insult him for buying his way into a car, but Nicky jokes about how his rival's team has been poor during testing. The next day, while James is training for his race, a lady named Susie arrives looking for Hesketh. She says she's a friend of the team owner and that she came to check out the car. James then shows her around, and as she says she's heard a lot about him, he looks impressed. He then mentions that he's no longer as reckless as he used to be because the team now wants him to be serious. As he jokes about how the team wants him to get married so that he'll be more disciplined, Susie asks what he really thinks about it. He then says he doesn't mind, after which he asks if she'd like to get married. She agrees to this, and shortly after, they get married. 
At his wedding, though, Bubbles informs him that Nikki has signed for Ferrari. As James wonders how he did it, Bubbles says that after Ferrari signed Clay, his teammate requested for Nikki to also be signed because he's a genius with cars. Days later, Nikki tests his Ferrari race car for the first time, after which he gets introduced to the press as Ferrari's new driver. Shortly after, Clay invites Nikki to a party so he can mingle with people instead of always being lonely. He gets bored there, so when he sees a lady named Marlene leaving, he asks if she can drop him off at a nearby train station. She agrees to this, and while they're on the way, Nikki tells Marlene that there are a number of problems with her car based on how it's sounding. She says it's impossible because she just serviced the car, so Nikki doesn't say anything. After a while, though, the car starts overheating, and they can't go any further. Marlene then mentions that she'll have to stop cars to see if anyone can give them a lift, as she tells Nikki to step back so she can do it. A car drives past her, but eventually stops. Two men then come down and recognize Nikki as the new Ferrari driver. They look quite happy and offer to give him a lift as long as he drives the car. Nikki agrees, and while he's driving, the men look excited. Marlene is confused, so she asks who Nikki is, and the men tell her that he's the new Ferrari driver. Marlene says it's impossible because Nikki is not driving like a Formula One driver. However, Nikki says there's no reason to drive fast because it increases the risk of accidents. Marlene still thinks he's making excuses, so she tells him to drive fast just for her. Suddenly, Nikki starts to drive really fast, much to Marlene's shock, though the men at the back are very excited. Nikki even almost hits a truck, but he manages to prevent a crash. This then marks the start of a relationship between Nikki and Marlene. During the final race of the Formula One season, Nikki races wheel to wheel against James, but the Hesketh race car eventually develops an engine failure. Nikki then wins the race and becomes the world champion, with Marlene watching him. During the celebrations, James congratulates Nikki and tries to play down his victory, saying he's driving in a better car. Nikki says it doesn't really matter because he's more focused than James. As James makes fun of him for being too serious, Nikki says he likes being a serious person and that he has no problem with people disliking him. The next day, James goes to convince Hesketh to do everything he can to make his car competitive. However, as he gets there, he learns that Hesketh is closing his business because he's running out of money. This leads James to be depressed, and as he spends most of his time getting drunk, Susie suggests taking a skiing trip to get his mind off it. However, he gets angry and says the only thing he cares about is getting a new car for the season. Susie realizes that he doesn't care about what she thinks, so she leaves him and heads for the trip. Days later, James finally gets a call that McLaren is looking for a driver. He immediately goes for an interview to make a case for himself. He even promises to do everything the sponsors want as long as he gets to drive in Formula One again. After consulting with his past employers, McLaren signs James to the team. On the first race of the season, James gets the pole position for the race and makes fun of Nicky for not matching him now that they're in equally competitive cars. However, Nicky says he'd like to see where James ends after the first race and the next five races too. Quite interestingly, Nicky wins all the early races in the season, but in Spain, James wins. After the celebrations, Nicky then tells his team to make a report to the authorities about something he noticed in James's car. After a while, James's car gets disqualified and he loses his first win because the width of his tires is slightly above the required level. McLaren eventually has to make some adjustments to the car, but after the next races, Nicky continues to win while James fails to finish most of the races. After one of the races, Nicky catches up with James to ask how he's now feeling since he bragged on the first day. James blames him for having to let McLaren make adjustments to his car. He also calls Nicky a cheat, but the Ferrari driver laughs it off because he's not the one driving an illegal car. As James then calls Nicky a rat, he says he doesn't care because rats are very intelligent and have great survival instincts. He also says he's sure that James's behavior is the reason Susie left him. James doesn't understand this, but when he gets to his trailer, he is informed that the papers have reported that Susie is already going out with someone else. James is unhappy about this, and after he finally sees Susie, she tells him she met the new man during her skiing trip. James tries to convince her to get back with him, but she rejects his proposal. Days later, McLaren finally builds a legal car that is now faster. With this, James wins the next race of the season. During the British Grand Prix, 
James also wins and becomes the first British man to win at home after a long time. To make things more interesting, his win in Spain is reinstated. During a series of interviews, James is asked about his chances of winning the championship, and he says he's optimistic. However, when Nicky is asked the same question, he says it's impossible for James to catch him. Days later, Nicky finally decides to get married to Marlene. During their honeymoon, Marlene catches Nicky looking worried, so she asks what's wrong. He then tells her that he's just worried that being too happy might weaken him. However, she tells him not to think like that. Days later, while at the practice tests for the German Grand Prix, a driver gets injured. As the drivers return to their garages, someone asks for Nicky's autograph. After he signs it, the man tells him to write the date, but Nicky doesn't get this. The man then says it's because it could be Nicky's last one. This gets Nicky pissed, and he walks away. The next day, there's a lot of rain on the track, and because this is dangerous, Nicky calls for a meeting to get the authorities to cancel the race. However, James leads some other drivers to go against this, saying Nicky only wants to defend his points so that no one can get to him. After a vote, the race is allowed to go through. During the Grand Prix, James refuses to listen to his engineer's advice to race on slicks instead of the wet tires. He then says he prefers to stay on wets, since it's also what Nicky is using. After the first lap, the wet tires turn out to be the wrong tire strategy, so Nicky and James eventually have to change their tires. James gets his own done first, and this gets Nicky to hurry his mechanics to be fast about his tire change. As he keeps screaming at them to be faster, they eventually get it done, and he continues his race. After a while, though, something gets loose in his car, and this causes a serious crash that leaves his car on fire. A speeding car also crashes into him, and he gets stuck in the fire. Unfortunately, no one is able to help him until the fire gets quenched, and he's then taken to the hospital. Marlene is not at the race on that day, but she hears it on the news, so she goes to the hospital immediately. While Nicky is struggling for his life after suffering severe burns, James tries to write him a letter, but he just doesn't know the right words to use, so he stops trying. After a few days, Nicky finally wakes up, and Marlene sees her husband, who now has a disfigured face. While he's in the hospital, racing continues, and James starts winning many races to catch up to Nicky while he's still receiving treatment. After 28 days in the hospital, the doctors start vacuuming his lungs, but Nicky still manages to look at the TV as he watches James still winning, even after the doctors are through with vacuuming his lungs. Nicky still insists that they keep doing it because he wants to get back to racing again. Days later, Marlene sees Nicky trying to fit his helmet into his head. She tries to stop him, but he tells her that if she really loves him, she'll let him do it. Days later, everyone on track gets shocked to see Nicky back so soon. James immediately goes to see him and looks shocked to see his face. Nicky then jokes about how he knows his face looks bad. James mentions that he tried to write a letter to Nicky several times, but he couldn't find the right words to use. He also says he blames himself for swaying the other drivers to vote for the race to go on. Nicky then says that seeing James win so many races made him come back so early. During an interview with the press, Nicky is asked about the chances of winning the championship again, and he says he can still do it. A reporter then asks if his marriage will still be the same with how his face now looks. Nicky doesn't like this question, so he storms out. James sees this, and after the reporter leaves, he beats him up for asking Nicky such a silly question. The next day, Nicky races again, and even though he starts quite slow, he eventually finds his feet and comes forth in the race, while James's car fails to reach the end due to an engine failure. A few days later, on the final race day of the season in Japan, rain starts falling, and Nicky looks worried as he sees Marlene in his garage. He eventually shakes off his worries, but when the race starts, he can't help but think about Marlene. Following this, he drives back to the pit lane and stops the car. When his engineer asks what's wrong, Nicky says there's nothing wrong and that he only opted out because it's dangerous to race in the rain. He then goes to meet Marlene so they can go to his trailer together. With James only needing to finish in the top three to become world champion, his tires get damaged, so he starts to slow down and drop down in the race. As he then goes for a tire change, his engineer advises him to forget about the world championship and drive safely instead, since he's far behind and will need to drive super fast in the rain to make third place. He says there's still a next year, but James mentions that he can't just give up, 
As he leaves the pit lane, James drives really fast and overtakes lots of cars on a wet track until he makes third place and wins the championship. When Nikki and Marlene are about to leave, she asks if he's okay, and he says he is. He also says he has no regrets. In the following weeks, James spends a lot of time partying to celebrate his world championship. During a trip to Italy for a party, he sees Nikki and goes to meet him. As they greet each other, Nikki asks when James will return to work for testing, but he says he's still enjoying his life. Nikki then asks if he's not even trying to prove people wrong that he won the championship because his main rival was involved in an accident. However, James says he has nothing to prove. He also mentions that racing on the final day was enough proof that he could be a winner, even with his life at stake. Nikki then says that risking his life should feel like a loss, but James says his rival pushed him that hard. He adds that he was ready to die just to beat Nikki. He also says that failing to go for the win, in spite of the risk, will kill the sport. As he's about to leave, Nikki tells James that he admires their rivalry and how they've pushed each other since their days in Formula 3. He also tells James to ensure he keeps giving him a hard time so they can keep growing. James says he will, though he adds that he needs to have a lot of fun first. Before he walks away, James jokes about Nikki's face, and Nikki just smiles and takes no offense. As James then leaves, Nikki stares at his plane until it flies away.